I think I ordered the uh, number four. It started with a simple craving. Jalapenos. I love spicy food. Yes, ma'am. So in early January, Andrew and his wife stopped at this Whataburger off Stemmons Freeway in Dallas. That should be the end of this story. And it was until they checked their credit card statement. Macy's, we never shop here. You know, and then Smart Direct Club, you're trying to get your teeth fixed, they're fine. <laughs> These weren't his wife's charges. Besides, there is no way she would spend $877 on men's underwear. Andrew reported the fraud to Irving police and called Macy's, and they gave him the name of the man behind the charges. We go on Facebook. Sure enough, he was the only person that popped up. When I saw his picture, I recognized him from the Whataburger drive-thru. 22-year-old Dites Williams, who police confirmed worked that drive through window. You can't miss that here. You can't miss it. Officers arrested Williams Friday night, and on him they found a red backpack with a red notebook with various names. Card information, addresses, phone numbers, and we were one of them. Andrew's bank refunded the money. Williams is charged with fraud, and now detectives are tracing back every name in that notebook. So we'll wait to hear if other people had a craving that cost them much more than they thought. It aggravates me, you know, that people think that they can get away with it all the time. Not this time. In Dallas, I'm Marisa Vedra.